I've got the MightyVac MV8500 Silverline Elite Automotive Test Kit, and we're going to demonstrate some vacuum tests on this old quadrajet carburetor. Got our MV8510 pump, and the MV8510 can generate both vacuum and pressure depending upon the setting. In some cases, if you have a pressurized line, you want to do testing with such as a turbocharger component or turbocharger control component you would set this way since we are doing vacuum testing I'm going to go ahead and set it for vacuum I've gone ahead and pulled a connector out of the number of connectors that come with the kit so we can make a connection on this carburetor Set our hose up onto the barb and our connection for the pull off is right here. Carburetor would supply vacuum going down to this dash pot. So this is the choke pull off. When the vehicle is first started, the engine starts to run, vacuum is generated. But uh, to enrich in the mixture, the choke is held closed with a little spring on the side. Once that engine starts, vacuum starts to pull that dash pot open, which in turn opens the choke a little bit, lets more air in. And as the engine warms up, eventually that spring relaxes. So we haven't lost any vacuum. We haven't had any extra movement in the dash pot. We can actually see on our gauge we're still holding a little bit of vacuum, so we know our dash pot and our hose is good. Engine vacuum is used to operate a number of different controls. On older vehicles, it can be anything from windows to locks. On newer vehicles, emission controls, four-wheel drive components. It just goes to show there's a lot of things that you can test with the MV8510 and the MV8500 Silverline Elite Test Kit. If you found this video useful, please hit that like and subscribe. For all of our other products, please visit us at mightyvac.com.